teacher from the Sriram School. Hi, this poem is called Dancing with, Wid with Widows in Vrindavan. This is a house for the women in white. For the women in white, who, can I start again? <laughs> Sorry. This is a house for the women in white. For the women in white who have been abandoned by their families in the name of God, who have been sentenced to living on the sidelines without color, without happiness, without love. This is a house for the women in white, but they are laughing, even though they were told not to. For their entire lives, they have been told to be pious, to worship a God that does not love them back, to worship a husband they did not choose, to worship everyone except themselves. And now, their husbands are dead and their children ignore, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. This is a house where the women in white are acknowledged. When they see me, they smile. They have been waiting for weeks, for months, for years, just to have someone to speak to. Someone to speak to who doesn't have the same story as them. Someone not thrown out, not abused. Someone whose life didn't end when their husbands did. Someone different. We sit and sing bhajans. The women in white are not weak. They are strong. Strong in their faith. They continue to love God even though he left them behind continue to love God even though others who believe in the same God pronounce them unholy, they sing. Their voices rise and fall. And for a moment, they're just old women sitting together. Old women sharing stories about their families. Old women blessing the children who have come to meet them. One of them stands up and starts to dance, and soon so does everyone else. They dance celebrating their God, celebrating each other, celebrating being alive. They are strong, strong because they haven't given up on life itself. The women in white may seem to be a blight, but mostly they are just women, just women who despite all that has been thrown at them, despite being labeled outcasts, despite everything, they are at peace. They are happy. And why shouldn't they be? Their lives, contrary to what people on the outside think, didn't end at the pyre, no. In this house, the women in white, they live. But this time, they do it for themselves. Thank you.